Uh, we're entering into our third uh, consecutive year of drought. Our water is, uh, our water supply is being significantly impinged. The governor has had to turn the tap off to a number of farmers who will uh, not be able to grow approximately $2.8 billion worth of crops this year. That's not good. That's not good for the state. That's not good for the people. That's not good for the markets because ostensibly that means that less supply, price will go up. We hope that doesn't happen, but it's very real. The air quality was so poor in Los Angeles and the Los Angeles Basin because when fire happens, the, um, the particulates are so fine, they're about the diameter of a human hair, that we breathe, they easily enter our lungs and then easily enter our bloodstream. And people who have respiratory problems uh, uh, have to remain inside, they can't exercise, they have a very difficult time to go outside to even breathe. Southern California has approximately 300,000 homes that are on the urban wildland interface. And it, it is a continuing problem of how to protect those homeowners should homeowners be allowed to build right into nature and should taxpayers have to pay for the fire services to come in to protect those homes. Look at all these homes, homesteads, even right behind us here that are, are beautifully nestled and treed, but when fire does come in here, we've got a real situation because those, those uh, uh, gentlemen farmsteads, as they were, will be taken right out. The fire in, and its intensity is, is so high that the soil particles actually repel the fall rain. And uh, when, when it does rain in our fall, though instead of going into the earth, it being absorbed into the soil, it's actually being repelled and it comes down the valley. And that's where we get these massive soil erosion problems, which then it, for the community and, and uh, f homes at the bottom of the valley, they can be flooded. And of course, that's the other problem. When fire does get in, it, if it takes out the, the, the power lines, that's a real problem because not only do we lose power, but those are live lines and that can actually start more fire.